Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the working and construction and operation of this TWT traveling wave tube, helix traveling wave tube. So, traveling wave tube has been designed for the frequencies ranging from 300 MHz to high as much as 50 gigahertz okay that means it works from the ultra high frequencies to uh, in the middle range of we can say in the middle range of microwave frequencies so let us note this point uh, that is TWTs works with the frequency ranging from 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz that means the wide bandwidth and the low noise characteristics makes the rwt ideal for the user as an amplifier in the microwave equipment so it can be used it is used as an amplifier as an amplifier or we can say it is a twt is a is an ideal amplifier that works with wide bandwidth with wide bandwidth and bandwidth and low noise and low noise these are the important features that a, a, any amplifier should have so one is a wide bandwidth and wide bandwidth means any type of frequencies that are ranging from 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz that are going to be allowed and passing through this amplifier that means that type of signals can be amplified using such a, an amplifier uh, and as well as low noise that amplifier works with very low noise principles low noise environmental conditions so for bandwidth so for broadband applications such as satellites applications such as satellite radar transmitters radar transmitters the twts are almost exclusively preferred the twts are very much preferred because in satellite communication, radar communication, radar transmitting signals, we are working with the frequencies with high frequency and high power signals because we need to transmit the signal to long distance. Suppose if you take any satellite, that satellite has to transmit the signal onto the earth station which is around 36,000 kilometers away from the 36,000 kilometers away from the earth station okay or it may be any type of lu or mu LED, uh, lower earth orbit or M, uh, medium earth orbit uh, uh, satellites uh, such type of satellites are also around uh, 500 and 1000 kilometers away from the earth surface so in order to transmit the signal to such a long distance definitely our twts are preferred to amplify the signal so that the boosting can be done and signal can be improved to kilowatts of range to megawatts of range so that the twts are very much preferred in such applications in radar also same uh, what is the purpose of radar radar is used to detect the radar is used to detect any say, type of signal so when we are going to transmit this signal it has to go up to uh, uh, what is that a kilometers this range the range that the signal has to travel in the order of kilometers like 100 kilometers 200 kilometers 500 kilometers and 1000 kilometers so the signal must be very much powerful okay so that uh, this type of twts are preferred to amplify the signal so if we compare the basic operating principles of the twt and klystron suppose if you say uh, what could be the difference between the twt and klystron twt is an amplifier klystron is it may be an amplifier or an oscillator there we are using uh, resonant cavities but uh, no resonant cavities are being used in this uh, uh, twt okay so twt uh, the microwave circuit is a non resonant and the wave propagates the wave propagates with same speed as the electrons are traveling in the electron beam so in twt is the wave 
the wave travels or propagates with the velocity with the velocity equal to the electron velocity electron velocity in the electron beam okay suppose if you are switching on the electron gun okay you have an electron gun in our oscillators or a, uh, amplifier so what is the purpose of this electron gun electron gun is used to produce a beam of electron towards the screen or towards any type of other device or i can say anode to cathode so these electrons which are traveling or released from this electron gun are very much uh, having very high speed because the beam of lot of electrons are going to be uh, transmitted so the wave which travels in this uh, uh, twt also propagates in the traveling wave tube with the same velocity with the uh, when we compare with the electrons okay so just as a uh, as in the case of a klystron this velocity modulation later translates to current modulation so which then induces an rf current and the circuit causing amplification so what is the process going on is just as in the case of klystron just as in the case of klystron this velocity this velocity modulation later translates later translates see how the electron velocity modulation occurs so the initial effect on this beam is a small amount of velocity small amount of velocity modulation caused by the weak electric field effect weak electric field effect okay that electric field associated with the traveling wave okay the wave with the electrons which are uh, actually what we are doing we are applying some rf input voltage because of that rf input voltage the electrons which are traveling from this electron beam are going to be changing its velocity okay until and unless you apply the electron b uh, rf signal there is no change in the velocity of the electron but it, as the as it is going in a smooth wave now we are applying some rf signal in the next slide we will be having the uh, what is that uh, complete traveling wave tube diagram there i will you can better understand how this uh, twt works actually okay so velocity modulation later how it translates it translates to current modulation it translates to current modulation which then induces which then induces on rf current in the circuit which then induces the rf current induces in the circuit causes causes amplification this is the main reason how the amplification is going to be created within the twt so just as in the case of klystron what we are doing this velocity modulation later translates into current modulation because of the change in the direction of electron as it is mixing with the rf signal so current modulation is going to be generated or created because of the velocity modulation that actually induces the rf current in the circuit causing the amplification so if you go to this twt diagram twt constructional diagram this first setup is consisting of an electron gun see this is the hater element and this is the beam of electron hater element is nothing but this is the electron gun so this electron gun we know very well when it is getting heated or when it is energized then beam of electrons are going to be transmitted through this cathode okay we know cathode and anode are opposite phases of this one uh, this is the anode plate and this is the cathode these beam of electrons are because of this uh, uh, collimators we can say these names are collimators are uh, directing uh, directing plates 
okay so that the beam of electrons are completely focusing in the forward direction so as long as the signal or electro uh, electrons are normally travels through this uh, helical shape see here a conducting coil is inserted which is rotated in the helical shape and kept in the complete tube traveling wave tube okay this complete copper coil which has been um, what is that it is uh, molded into the helical shape that is inserted in the magnetic couple magnet okay one is on the south pole another one is in the north pole so in between these two uh, one coil is going to be introduced what happens here some flux is going to be generated now the wave is going to be inserted through this coil itself that is rf input which has to be amplified RF input which we are giving here and RF input which we are taking here that will be amplified, amplified version. Okay, this is the input. Now that signal passing through this helical shape, as it is in the helical shape, see here, if this conductor is normally having a connection like this, it reaches the RF output terminal very fast compared to the distance from here to here okay the distance from here to here through this helical shape is very much high distance compared to the direct distance from here to here hope you understand by seeing the diagram okay but if the, as the signal travels to multiple uh, rotations the wave becomes slower compared to the original wave okay that's why we can also call this type of structure as a slow wave structure slow wave structure several types of structures are there uh, here we have taken some helical shape that's why the name actually it is helical twt okay so that helical twt is placed here in order to make the signal to be slowed down okay now what is happening in this operation is when the beam of electrons are traveling in the forward direction uh, and uh, these waves these electrons are traveling inside the uh, coil uh, as the coil is surrounded by an rf signal the electrons which are having three different uh, uh, what is that velocities we can say uh, one is the early electron late electron reference electron and reference electron travels with the same velocity and early electron travels with faster velocity and late electron travels with slower velocity so these electrons will take a different path like this so that it reaches the output terminal okay so as long as the electrons are traveling in the forward direction or propagates in this tube initially there was a gap between these electrons okay so there is a specific gap between the electrons so as long as it is moving forward the gap gum, uh, becomes re <coughs> reduced like this it comes nearer to this you can take another color so that it is better to understand see if the here it is there here it is there and here it is there see here there is a gap between these three electrons but here when it comes to the half of the distance the gap somewhat going to be reduced and it is completely gone and then when it reaches the complete output it creates as a bunch that means all three electrons are uh, coming at the same place that means it creating a bunch this is what the bunch creation this is what the bunch creation within this uh, twt tube okay so the uh, magnetic field affects the flow of propagating signal that from uh, cathode from the electron gun towards the other nr we can say it is the rf output see the last stage is nothing but collector which is used to collect the unwanted electrons see here lot of electrons are being transmitted in the forward direction but only we are taking the bunch of electrons at one particular instant again this bunch is going to be created another time slot okay so uh, at the end when it reaches to the end it uh, gives a bunch it gives a bunch so this is what actually the electron bump now uh, because of this bunches the amplified the signal can be amplified within this uh, uh, tube so that we will be having an rf output which is amplified version which is amplified version 
okay so these are focusing plates which is used to make the signal to be travel in this uh, particular helical shape okay so all these electrons or that travels along with this helix bunching of electrons occur at the end which shift, which shifts the phase of how what will be the phase shift of this one when it is uh, uh, associated with the electrons it is a pi by 2 so magnet produces an axial magnetic field prevents the spreading of electron beam at the traveling down it travels down the tube that travels down the tube so i will write here what do you mean by velocity modulation actually we know that velocity modulation already we have studied in the case of a micro uh, klystron reflex klystron um, oscillator and as well as uh, uh, amplifier klystron amplifier there we have seen what do you mean by velocity modulation so velocity modulation when the axial field is zero electron velocity is unaffected electron velocity is unaffected actually this happens at the point of the node of the axial electric field okay so those electrons entering the helix when the axial field is positive anti node at this accelerating field negative uh, at this accelerating field that means the electrons are going to be accelerated so at the latter that means uh, uh, positive how it is amplifying the signal positively how it is amplifying the signal negatively so such cases will be occurring uh, at these three instants because of the early electron late electron and the reference electron okay so those electrons those electrons entering the helix entering the helix when the axial field is when the axial field is positive and in node at the accelerating field at the accelerating field which are where the electrons are accelerated electrons are accelerated so at later point at later point where the axial where the axial rf field is a negative anti node is negative anti node retarding field or we can say it is a retarding field the electrons are decelerated okay so acceleration and deceleration so the electron gets velocity modulated this is what the electron gets velocity modulation electron gets velocity modulation this is how the actual process is going on within this twt construction operation and working of this twt is been explained in this video thank you